Hey there, Estes. It's Kristen Marie here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Before we dive into today's content, I wanted to highlight our partner for this video. It's ASCP Insurance, Associated Skincare Professional Insurance. I have mentioned to you before many times on my channel how important it is to have liability insurance for your practice. And you may be wondering what relevance this has to today's topic, but honestly, it has everything to do with it. In preparation for peel season, you're gonna wanna make sure you have that liability insurance. I know some brands require liability insurance to purchase the stronger chemical peels like TCAs and retinols, things like that. And so you're gonna want to make sure that you are insured. And I have actually been insured by ACP for several years now. And I have been very happy knowing that I am protected. It's covering me up to 6 million per year per policy and up to 2 million per incident. So rest assured, your back is covered with ACP. They do offer another tier of insurance called business pers <laughs> This is a tongue twister. <laughs> business per- <laughs> <laughs> business personal property insurance or BPP and this is going to provide coverage for your skincare business and can be added to your membership uh, it includes coverage for your products for your equipment will be covered by this add-on policy so not only is it providing you professional liability insurance but it also provides education resources community and career support they have 300 plus on-demand videos for you to check out to further your education as an esthetician and also the the support that they provide on here as well if you are somebody who is looking for a job they have resources for that if you're looking to hire someone they have resource and community for that and on top of that they provide other tools like you can create your own custom email domain for free with ASCP or partner with Pocket Suite to build your website. So there's a bunch of different resources and discounts through ASCP that's offered. And lastly, I wanted to highlight that they have state board updates. You can hover and click on your state and it'll give you the contact info for your state board so that there's no uh, question of how to contact them or find their website. But they also have different uh, entries about updates. Be rest assured that ASCP is gonna be emailing you articles and things like that that are important for you to read and to know about what your state board is implementing um, for your state and for your practice. Now, if you're already ready to go to sign up for a policy, click the link down below and sign up for your insurance today. And just know too, once you sign up for your own account, you will get access to a affiliate link that you can refer to people that you know for $20 off on your own policy. So I love that they offer that. Thank you again so much ACP for partnering with me on this video and without further ado, let's get into the content. are in the last quarter of 2024. I cannot believe how lightning fast this year went. For some of you, it's your busy time of the year. And I'm extra excited because it is going to be peel season and it is one of my favorite times of the year. And I have decided to implement some new things this year to help to just elevate and boost momentum for 2025. So I wanted to share a few of those tips with you here. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. I am starting to pick up my TikTok game and I need your love and support on there as well. And there'll be exclusive content on all of my platforms. I try to switch it up and give you guys a free resource for you to get inspiration to see what's possible. Remember, everything that I'm saying in this video is my own experience, my own opinion. Make sure you're continuing to do your own research and know that we are all growing and learning together here in this community. First tip that I wanted to highlight is to recommit 
to results and your continuing education, especially during the season, peel season. This is really when you can transform your clientele, your business, and just enter into 2025 or the following year, whatever year you're watching this video. Um, and, and honestly, I don't even like to, to highlight that it's going to be New Year's because every single quarter you should be reevaluating and refreshing your goals and setting new ones. But I know most of the population, like 98% of the population is going to be on this new year, new me hype. And this is really the golden opportunity for you to ride that wave with a majority of the world and offer people uh, what they're going to be looking for when it comes to them reprioritizing themselves at the beginning of the year. And big part of that is self-care. I'm really going to be trying to recommit to my client, my current client's results. And that starts with just taking a new before picture. I, I feel like I've dropped the ball so much on this over the years. Um, I will take a picture and completely forget to keep taking new pictures. I have had clients who've come in that I didn't take a before picture at all and their skin looks completely different now and I'm just so sad I don't have that documented. So it's okay, you know, don't beat yourself up and start fresh now. I am going to be taking before pictures of every single client starting this month of October because I, I think that also will excite them. It'll, it'll make them feel like, okay, yeah, like my esthetician is dedicated to giving me the best skin I've ever had. And taking that before picture just kind of plants a seed in their head that, oh wow, you know, I'm gonna have a, a, an after picture at some point that will show a difference. And so it's, it's just about getting them excited again. I've had some clients that have been coming to me for four years now. After a while, you, you can kind of get a little bit like you're plateauing or, you know, you're doing the same things. And so recommitting to their results not only will spark excitement within them, but within yourself. This season is also a great time to consider what treatments you're going to be offering um, and, and maybe to, tr to try something new. And, and maybe right now at this point in the year, it's a little too late to experiment. Um, but I would say if, say you're watching this in the future, if you could start in the um, late part of the summer, like September, even August, um, I would say to start to try treatments on yourself or other, um, maybe your SD Bestie, those would be the best options to start with. But I would say to start trying those treatments prior to peel season so that you know what you're going to be offering. So I know that I had shared with you before that I just invested into the Zemitz Versan HD machine. And although that's not necessarily a peel, it's still a new add on to our business. And that has created a buzz and a hype within our own clientele's, uh, me and my employees clientele's and attracting new business. So I would consider during this time maybe adding in again a new treatment, a new peel or a new uh, machine to your, your bag of tricks. With that comes with recommitting to your continuing education and that's why I mentioned ASCP at the beginning of this video because they have a huge library of continuing education videos on demand for you to watch right when you sign up for a policy and Quite frankly, all the brands that I've ever worked with have a, a variety of continuing education resources. I know that Image, SkinScript, Glymed, um, a couple other brands that I have been exploring, Lemieux, they offer a, a plethora of continuing education resources that are for free. I do plan on talking a bit more about um, continuing education in the future. I'm exploring some options myself right now of paid uh, forms of continuing education because um, yeah, there is free, but there's also some great ones out there that you would have to invest in. So more to come on that. Go ahead and open up your your modules of your education centers for your companies and brands that you work with and just refresh your memory on the protocols. And actually I went the extra mile and I, I printed all of the the peels protocols that i plan on offering um this this season and that way i have it at my fingertips you know if you're like me and you work with several brands um you know it's it's gonna be hard to kind of sift through all these different manuals when you want to open up a protocol so i think you know having a nice little folder or a binder that has these protocols 
um, ready to go. The, the most up-to-date versions of them um, will be really wise to do and to just make sure that you have all the products that you need um, and that is just at your fingertips. And to be able to create your menus, which is what my next tip is gonna be, is to create a peel offering menu. Um, I had just been kind of going off word of mouth with my own clients of what they can expect and what peels I'm gonna be doing on them or my plan of action. I'm always very verbal with my clients, but I do feel like creating something visual sometimes can help a client to really see the bigger picture and to see that this is a, a, a committed season. That one peel is not gonna get you your dream skin. It's gonna be multiple peels and of course that's gonna be up to you how you decide that you want to offer these peels, but it just gives a blueprint of your plan for their skin, for their skin type, what they can expect as far as, as pricing, as far as uh, home care, which we'll get into, but it's just gonna give them a roadmap and it, it plants in their mind that they, they're gonna need to be committed through this holiday season. Promoting the peels in a series or just having a course of action over the next few months will help prioritize this in their budgets and in their minds and just in their schedules. The Skin Script Pro Peel Bundle that I promoted a couple weeks ago, that's something really awesome to consider to doing series of peels. They're more of a progressive approach versus an aggressive approach. I'm personally not the type that likes to put the strongest thing on someone right away and I will not be offering peels to clients that I feel like are, are newer to the practice or their skin has not been built up to be appropriate for peels, uh, stronger peels just yet. So if your clients are kind of in that space, you also could probably create a little menu for them so that they still feel included in the peel season of you know maybe the lighter treatments that you are gonna be starting them on, whether it's enzymes or lower level acids. I know I keep mentioning Skin Script and this is not sponsored, but I love that they offer the different seasonal facials. They're coming out with this cold brew a dual mask, they came out with their caramel apple facial. They always have new things coming out that I do believe really entice um, new clients to, to check you out or clients maybe that it fell off, brings a sense of nostalgia sometimes or just that feel good experience for somebody. And so it could be a good idea to also include that in your menu of offerings for peel season for people to check out and take a look at. And this menu doesn't need to be anything fancy. I've just been using Canva to put it together. Um, just make sure it's, it's professional, it's clean, easy to read. You double check it for grammar and spelling, you know, the, the, the basics, right? Um, but it doesn't need to be anything fancy. I don't plan on printing it on you know super nice paper but you can you can make it you know something like this if you want to that's a trifold and put pictures and all that if you really want to do that then go for it I'm just gonna simply you know make it look nice and clean and print it out and give a copy for me and for Kristen to have in our treatment rooms to you know kind of walk through our clients of, of what we're gonna be offering the next few months and I do think that it's important to have your clients, if you are planning on doing like a series on them, to pre-book their appointments and to collect deposits. It's gonna be implementing for the first time in my practice. So again, I don't, I'm not guaranteeing that this will be successful or that I'll be happy I did it this way, but I'm just letting you know, just based off how I know my clients are and what I feel like I would do if I was offered something given the holiday season and all of that. Give your opinions down below of what maybe has worked for you in the past or what you would suggest. Now, let's talk about home care. Home care is gonna be extremely important. And, um, but rewind really quick um, before we talk about the home care, sorry. Also, it's important to have these consent forms printed out and ready to go as well. I know that's the skin script one. Image has one in their manual that you can copy and, and print or you can customize your own. Um, but just make sure that you have some sort of consent form that clients will be going over 
um, before their treatments. I've had clients that you know have been coming to me for a long time and I've done peels on them. They know the deal, they, they get it, but it's good to remind them because again, they're not the experts, we're the experts. So we need to be reminding them of the, of the care and the process that's gonna go into receiving these treatments. So now let's talk about the home care. Um, most companies do offer kits. Um, I know SkinScript and Image, I have used their their post peel kits. I know it's not called that for skin script. They have a different couple of kits, but the kit that has been highlighted to me is the hyperpigmentation pre and post peel kit that they offer. And then Image has the post peel kit that they offer as well as a prerequisite for getting the peel. Your client needs to be absolutely dedicated to the home care in order to receive any chemical peel treatment that you offer. And then of course, at the end of peel season, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take that after picture. Not enough to just take the before picture. I would definitely be taking that after picture and content throughout this season. Um, every facial that your client comes in and receives a treatment, you should document it, um, take you know pictures of, of the process uh, again just to kind of keep the the excitement going and to document the journey um, I did that you know for a couple clients last year and it was really cool to see the transformation of their skin and also to have them uh, take pictures at home I love seeing you know the the process of their skin like healing and it, it's important too just for you to follow up with them uh, throughout the, the treatments to make sure that they are following the home care, that it, they know that they have access to you during this time to ask questions and, and share any concerns because especially those clients that just haven't received peels before, they might freak out a little when they see their skin coming off or there might be a little red or a little sensitive. So be sure to, to give them a way to contact you, um, ideally via text or phone because I think having immediate communication with your clients throughout this time will be key and make them feel supported. It's just gonna help you stand out and, and let your clients know that you care and that you're dedicated to their results. All right, to close off this video, I wanted to share with you that I purchased a planner. I know if you followed me on my other platforms, you've seen me show this planner. It is linked to my Amazon Esthetician Essentials list and um, it does break down my schedule per hour and i find that it's very encouraging and helpful to have my schedule listed out very specifically for the day so that i can go and check it off and feel accomplished that i achieve certain things for the day and the reason why this is going to be helpful is because yeah maybe you can write in here your to do of following up with your clients of posting on social media during this time and um Again, just getting yourself more organized for for the season, for the new year. For some reason, I got really excited buying a planner. <laughs> as nerdy as that sounds, you know, get yourself some cute pens and get yourself a new planner and just get organized. And I'm telling you, um, it comes down to those little things, just mentally. I've also taken it upon myself to, to just refresh refresh everything for those of you who are into astrology or not into astrology i'm sorry i am into astrology um but right now we're actually going to be going through a solar eclipse and um we just went through a lunar eclipse before and with them happening so close together um this is really a time where you know things are ending things are closing out it could be a, a relationship it could be a friendship it could be um you know habits maybe that you've had that you're putting an end to and it also could be the beginnings of something new you know i've had a lot of friends getting engaged um lately and um people you know embarking on new adventures moving you know it could be a new beginning for some of you um opening up a space or um, starting your journey to becoming an esthetician and um, you know, really take advantage of this time to use the energies that are, that are happening right now through these eclipses of putting an end to any maybe unhealthy habits, relationships um, that aren't gonna support your dreams and goals and starting new ones and nurturing healthy habits and healthy relationships. I have definitely been in a season of doing all of those things and so just some simple actions you could take is to declutter your space, get rid of old products, 
uh, and I'm just talking like on a professional stance, but you can do this at, at home as well with your personal stuff. You know, declutter, get rid of uh, old products or, you know, products you're not crazy about, or you're not loving, make space for new ones, get new sheets, um, get it, you know, redecorate, whatever it is that you feel like you need to get yourself excited for this, this new beginning, this new energy that you could receive from this solar eclipse that's about to happen. You know, if you're not into the astrology, that's fine, but the new year's coming. Again, I feel like this is a time where, where a lot of people are really just wanting that fresh start and motivation. Feel free to watch my other videos too. If, if maybe you're in a season where you're feeling a little down, a little stuck, um, watch my other videos and follow me on my other platforms and if you are feeling excited and motivated I'm so excited for you and I really hope that this video was helpful and I look forward to coming out with more content for you to keep you inspired to keep you on track and for you to feel supported um, in your journey as an esthetician I love you so much thank you so much for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you back here in the next one love you bye